today's news. Famous photo reporter dies. Journalists and human rights defenders assaulted in next event. Winners of social blog articles competition announced. Consumer rights will be protected in communal sector. Elkan Karimov, a renowned photographer from Turan Information Agency, died of a heart attack at his home yesterday evening. Karimov would have celebrated his 62nd birthday on December 28th. According to relatives, he had been complaining of chest pain recently. He was scheduled to have heart surgery on January 5th. Karimov was buried today in Bulbuld Village Cemetery in the Surakhani district. May he rest in peace. A group of rights defenders, including representatives from IRFS and the head of Democracy and NGO Development and Resource Centre, were assaulted during an investigation in Pusian, a village in the region of Sharur. The rights defenders were visiting the family of a former parliamentary candidate, who were victims of a police attack on December 14th. But when the rights defenders tried to leave Pusian, they realized that something was wrong. All of the entrances and exits of the village were being blocked by cars. Several men in civilian clothing suddenly appeared in front of their car. Luckily, the driver was able to keep going without hitting anyone, though the car's bonnet was damaged. On December 10th, police attacked the house of Chape Aliyev, brother of former APFP Musavat parliamentary candidate. A small shop in his yard and the part of the house adjacent to the shop were knocked down with a tractor. Alasoy, his cousins Gulara and Balakin Amyeva, his nephew Zakia Babiev, his sister Rakshanda Tagieva, and Rakshanda's husband, Bayram Tagiev, were all severely beaten. The injured parties have not yet been able to access medical care. Today, the Youth Bloggers Coalition announced the winners of Social Blog Articles competition. The speakers gave short information about Youth Bloggers Network and the competition. The winners were awarded with certificates and prizes. So, Tamer Merdaliya won the first place, Akshin Mahmud of the second, and Ilahi Hajir won the third place. Youth Bloggers Network project is implemented by Youth Bloggers Coalition as part of the civil society project carried out by Counterpart International with financial support from United States Agency for International Development. The Information and Cooperation Network of NGOs working to minimize corruption have launched a project entitled Assistance to the Protection of Consumer Rights in the Communal Sector. The conference was sponsored by the Open Society Institute Assistance Foundation. Providing the population with gas, water, and electricity, protecting consumers' rights, and analyzing the current situation and violations will all be investigated. Information and Cooperation and Network of NGOs Organization Coordinator, Constitution Research Fund President Ali Mahmoud Nuriyev gave statements at a presentation held on December 20th. He mentioned that the violation of citizens' social rights in Azerbaijan is the country's weakest point in the universal human rights system. Citizens' rights are especially violated in the communal service sector. People face irregularity in gas, water, and electricity provisions each day, and they live in a polluted environment. According to Nuriyev, there is no transparency. Regular reports about communal services and citizens are biased by employees in this field. Additional fees are demanded from citizens to pay for incomplete and or poor quality services in the communal services field.